you can grant access so that your team members can also securely access your switch. To grant access to additional users, go to the Users section in the main menu. Click the Add New button to add a new user. Let's name our new user Mark Sender. The switch will generate a username automatically. You can customize the username if you wish. Specify the password for the user to enter the system. Select the level of access this user will have in the switch. Let's select Reporter Access Level. This permits the user to retrieve call data and generate reports from the switch. To learn more about Access Level watch the Access Level video tutorial module. You may want to provide some description for this user to have more clarity when operating the system. Select Time Zone for the web interface of this user. The time zone selected should correspond the time zone of particular geographical location of this user. Let's select Europe Athens Greece for this training. Select the language of the system interface for this user. Let's set the default language for our new user to English. Let's set download format to CSV. We will talk about download formats later on in this video training. Provide the email of Mark so that the system can send respective information to him. You can optionally specify the default page that the user will see after logging in. Let's leave my preferences to be the starting page for this user. For increased security, you can limit access to the system from specific IP addresses. Enter the trusted IP addresses in the Allowed Hosts field. You can enter a single IP address, or multiple addresses separated by a comma. If the Allowed Access Hosts field is left blank the system can be accessed from any host. Let's leave this field as it is for this training. When you are done, press Save and Close button. As you may see the system has added out new user Mark Sender to the list of users. Now Mark can enter the system with his credentials and operate SIPI soft switch at the reporter access level.